Hello folks, back again. Just a few minutes ago I took a uh, final thoughts with the Nexus 10 and this was actually the camera that I used to shoot the video. So let me know how you like it versus this camera which I normally use, the Sony Handycam. I think it's the HDX 950 I want to say. Don't really remember. I'll write it down in the links. Um, obviously a camcorder that's made for shooting video is probably going to do a better job than a camera shooting video but I thought this looked pretty good. Um, so take a look at the video prior to this, the final thoughts of the Nexus 10. Let me know how you like it, because I'll depending on which one I'll use, I'll use that you know going on. Um, this is the Samsung Galaxy camera that they showed, uh, I believe at CES that came out like a month ago. Um, this is the one unlocked, uh, the unlocked version. I actually got this from. Uh, from uh, what is it called overseas but uh, it works in the US now AT&T is selling it for $4.99 and actually Verizon starting this week is selling the black and white version for $5.49 $50 more because it's doing LTE and I could also uh, get a um, get one as well that has the what is it called the chip the 3G chip from AT&T as well I don't believe this actually has a chip slot, but if so, if I wanted to, it would normally be right here. So I couldn't even do it if I wanted to, but I have Fox Buy in a way, so I could just run off my phone. Um, so this is the Samsung Galaxy camera. It's sporting a 16.1 uh, megapixel camera. Uh, it has 21x zoom, as you see here. And now we'll just go through all the connections. Uh, up top here, you have the power button the shoot button I guess you can call it um, the zoom in and zoom out which also works as volume up and volume down in the Android once you go into the Android system and you're listening to music or playing games you can do everything it, it, it acts like a normal Android device uh, right here we have the this is the flash button which if you press pops this up which is very cool I hardly use it so I'm glad you can actually put it away and it looks sleek and the aesthetics are just great. Um, down here you have the battery door which houses the micro SD card right here. It's actually just a blank piece right now. My uh, Galaxy is coming in later so I mean my Galaxy, my uh, micro SD card is coming in tomorrow. I'll actually show you the shipment on Google now. I, thought you, I think you guys have seen it already. Uh, that's for the tripod as we all know. On the side here is the micro USB port, which you can use for um, charging the phone, uh, charging the camera, as well as connecting it to your computer to upload and will transfer data, photos, and stuff. And we even have a head jack here, which is great for people who are listening to music or you know doing stuff like that, playing games, whatever you want to do. So that's everything. So let's turn it on. And you're welcome to a screen just like any other Android phone. You just unlock it. Yeah, and it's you know pops up to a normal screen like any Galaxy phone, the S3, whatever. Now, as you all know, I'm a Nexus guy. I got Nexus every. I have Nexus everything. Uh, tablet, phones. I like vanilla-based operating systems. I hate having what I call uh, malware, <laughs> adware all this third party crap but in this case since it's a galaxy camera I'm not going to fault it and it actually comes with a lot of cool features um, turn it back on preloaded it does come with Instagram and stuff like that let's go into the camera first actually so in the camera we have uh, shows prior videos a lot of modes automatically it's set on auto which is great for, for people like me who aren't you know big photographers uh, take a look at the modes. Auto is where it's normally set. We have smart mode, which shows you things that you can set, like panorama, which is on most ice cream sandwich phones and up. Rich tone, action freeze, macro, landscape, best face. I'm sure you saw the commercial on that for the Galaxy X3, S3. Continuous shot, best photo, and beauty face, life trace. All these other cool things. So that just lets you change the the mode depending on the condition of where you're at like if you're in a night scene or if you're outside and it's daytime 
the other mode is for experts like I said photographers you can change certain things like the shutter speed the aperture um, continuous shot shutter speed stuff like that um, EV brightness whatever that is aperture thank God it's here cuz for a second I thought I made that up so your aperture shutter speed stuff like that you can change even for the camcorder settings as well so that's that was for the camera this is for the camcorder uh, just for the video I'm not gonna mess with anything cuz I don't know what I'm doing um, so that's for the camera when you back out it goes into a normal you know like a normal Android device as if you had a phone has everything you would normally only has three screens wait one two three yep three screen screens but I don't see anybody putting in too many things like I did put in Facebook and stuff like that but it's not really necessary um, I got to say it uh, the specs on this guy it has a 1.4 uh, quad core Xenos processor um, which is very fast I mean you're not gonna be doing a lot on here and it loads in less in less than 30 seconds um, it has one gig of RAM, which you know most things these days have two gigs, like the Nexus 10, but uh, it is definitely sufficient, more than enough for what you need a camera to do. Um, and besides that, you know, it's pretty speedy for what you need. And once again, like the quality of the pictures and video are great. I'll try to take some pictures later on to show you. See, so, yeah, it takes everything. It doesn't treat it as if it's some uh, uh, broken down, uh, well, edited. Android device it's you know they still have the market marketplace and everything there for you you can download GTA 3 I don't think GTA Vice City is um, available for this one yet but Instagram and other picture uh, picture apps are preloaded into here for people you know this is a great this is where I would say if it's worth it or not because this thing does run for four ninety nine or five fifty depending on which one you go you go to but um, if you're not using this solely on you know editing and uh, shooting pictures editing and uploading it uh, instantly then I would you know stay away because it's just a waste of money okay, especially if your phone can do it enough uh, I'm gonna show you a picture I took of took a picture of my sneakers which are it shows a lot of information it's very high resolution um, I took this same picture with my Galaxy Nexus and my Nexus 10 didn't look anything like this anything close like the quality of picture and enough people liked it I guess so it must have looked really nice um, that's the only one I took a picture of really this is this picture is at the mall with the Galaxy Nexus 5 megapixel you can see the difference I know looking at a camcorder is not gonna you lose out on what you're really seeing but it makes a huge difference on what you see um, and then the video editing is really good let's see if I can grab a picture you know it's not the video editing I want to see uh, if you go to gallery and grab a picture like let's see camera So I took a picture of a turkey burger. Looks pretty good and it tastes even better than it looks. So you go to edit and you pick this maybe I closed it. Oh it's down here. Photo wizard. And here it lets you on effect. It's like Instagram's filters. Uh, it has vintage old photo all these crazy things that you know has a lot of software normally I like vanilla type OS's uh, operating systems let me talk plainly for people who may not know um, vanilla when I say vanilla Android it's just Android straight from Google there's no UI which stands for user interface there's no extra stuff like Motorola has their uh, Moto Blur if you you know when they advertise that and it's uh, just like HTC with their Sense UI I forgot what Samsung's is called but uh it's it's all silly. It takes all it takes away from uh, the the natural Android experience. But some people like it. You know, enough people with the Galaxy S3 uh, love how that works. So these are the effects that you get even cartoony, turkey burger, sharp. So that's pretty cool. And then you can edit it there, and then go to Instagram and edit it even more. 
Well, I don't want to keep it that way. Let's get back out. So it's pretty cool. I ran some benchmarks, and it <laughs> it'll beat out the Nexus 10. Don't ask me how. I mean, the quad core. This is more of a. This it has a better GPU than the Nexus 10. And why? Because like I explained before, the Nexus 10 uh, is more CPU driven. Uh, they they concentrated more on the CPU, and the GPU is great. It's slow slow down. The only game that's ever slowed down was Vice City that I played that I downloaded today, um, and. Uh, this one beat it out by 2,000 points and a few benchmarks. So you can see, and this only has one gig of RAM, this one has two. So this one is very fast. It'll play games, it'll do whatever, Asphalt 7, whatever you want it to do. Um, Dropbox, works, Dropbox works great. Every photo you upload automatically goes there if you choose, just like Google Plus Instant Upload, if you enable that as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, all in all, I've only had it for a couple of days. I'm going to try it out for a week or two and then do a final thought, just like the Nexus 10. Uh, this is just a quick look. Once again, uh, I'll try to take a, some low light and high and uh, sunny pictures. If you guys have any questions you want me to take a picture of or record and then upload straight up from here, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. And, oh, before we go, I just want to take a look at, uh, let's just show you, once again, Google Now. It has everything. Like I said, it's just like a normal Android device. It shows everything. This is the package that shipped the micro SD card that's coming tomorrow. Everything you buy and delivers, Google now lets you know. Still works like everything else. Uh, it is one thing I forgot to mention. It's running. Uh, it is running Jelly Bean Android 4.1.1, not 4.2.1, which lets you do the what am what is that song from. Google Now, as well as scan barcode, so you don't get that yet, I believe. Um, but other than that, yeah, it has everything you you need. W weather. It's 36 degrees and partly cloudy in Freeport. Yeah, see, so it has everything. It's a great camera. I would only invest in it if you if you like the point and click type. Uh, it's almost the same price as the. Uh, DLSR, so that's something you gotta take a look at to see if you want to invest in. But once again, the pros, the pros might out outweigh the cons if you're looking to uh, take a picture. If you're a huge Instagram nut or Facebook upload, uh, Twitter upload, take a pic, upload it quickly. So versus having to transfer it to a phone after, uh, then it's worth the investment. If you have any other questions, please let me know and don't forget to subscribe. Take care, guys.